Hey, let's talk about creating a case independent API using Spring Boot. Let's quickly create a new Spring Boot application. I'm going to use IntelliJ to do that. I'm going to use IntelliJ to create a new Spring Boot application. I'm going to call this Hello API. I'll put it in my Git directory and I'll just leave it at com.example, hello API. I use Java 1.8 and I will use Spring Boot 2.79. I will throw in a long block and just put in Spring Web. So let's create a project here. Okay, we have our project created here. Let's go into our source in the main. Java and let's create one controller. So I'm going to create a new package called controller. And in here I'm going to create a Java class. I'm going to call it hello rest controller. And within that I will make that a rest controller using the at rest controller annotation. And we'll go ahead and we'll create a simple get request mapping. And we'll just call it slash hello. And we'll create a simple method to support that. We'll do a public string hello. And we'll just return hi. And this is going to allow us to validate that we're up and running. I'm going to go into our application properties. And I'm going to say server.port equals 8100. All right. So if we run this now, we'll enable our Lombok annotations. We can see our application is running on port 8100. I'm going to go ahead and start Postman. And with Postman, I'm going to go ahead and access this URL, HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8100. Hello. And that gets our response high. So we know our basic application server is up and running. What I want to do is actually show you how to do a post with a ignored case. So I'm going to create a new API and we're going to create this a post mapping and in here this is going to be a say hello and again we're going to have a public string say hello and this time we're going to put a request body in for the mappings. And the request mapping, I'm going to have a hello request. And again, I'm going to return a simple string to simply say hello. Now I'm going to create the request, the hello request as a model object. So going into the project, I'm going to create a model folder. And in this model folder, I'm going to create a class for the hello request. And in here, I'm going to use the at data, which is why I added the long block that will take care of my getters and setters. So in here, I'm going to add a simple private string name. That's as simple as that. So now we can go back to our controller and we can make sure we have this imported properly. And in here, I'm going to say hello space. And then we're going to have our hello request dot get name. All right, so exactly as you would expect, it's going to say hello and then the name. 
So let's stop this. Let's restart it. Let's verify our get request is still running. It is. So now we're going to create a post request. And this post request is going to go to say hello for the URL. We're making this a post. And now we're going to have a body. We're going to set that to raw. We're going to set the type to JSON. And we're going to pass in simply a name. And I'm going to call it my name, Tom. So now I expect to see, hello, Tom. Let's see if this works. Great. Hello, Tom. But let's say we want to be more friendlier. And we want to work with ecosystems like .NET. And they might send in the name as uppercase name. Well, let's run this now. Oh, notice it says, hello, null. That's not what we want. We want to be a little bit more lenient on what we do. And in this case, I want to allow a mixed case naming. So what I can do is I can quickly and simply go into our properties and I can define an attribute in here for our Jackson mapper. And I can say, accept case independent properties. So let's do that. Let's relaunch our application. Now that we have that, let's run our post request again. And now it says, hello, Tom. So that is one way we can quickly go through and allow this to be any case or even a mixed case. If we want to do this another way, instead of the annotations, we can comment out the annotation here. And we can actually use a JSON format attribute within our hello request. So now we have this request being case insensitive. So let's go back and let's launch this and let's verify this works. I'm going to send our post through again and we see that works. Now notice in this case, we only set the case incentive for the one type. If I go through and I create another model and we call this hello to request. And in this hello to request, I add in the same attributes. I'll add my data for my long box so I get my getters and setters. And I also add in my private name. And now what I'm going to do is go to my REST controller. I'm going to say, add a hello, say hello to. Say hello to. And this is going to use, use hello request to. Hello to request. So we will import this. So now if I create another post in Postman, let's stop this. Let's start this. Let's go back to our Postman. And let's call hello to. It doesn't work. We just call hello. It does work. So by adding the annotation in the class itself, we can specify one class. If we add the property value settings, it's going to allow the insensitive case for everything. So if we now start this, go back to say hello to again, now we'll see it works. So now you've seen two ways to set this. The first way is with the property files. It affects all items. Otherwise, you could have simply the JSON format annotation on the JSON object that you want to ignore the case. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this fast and simple video on case insensitive posts. This will help .NET C Sharp developers coexist a little smoother with Java developers.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like my video. I have other videos on YouTube as well as my Udemy classes. You can find those in the description. Thank you.